what is up you guys Tori here welcome back to the channel and today I'll be reacting to more voice play I'll be reacting to their cover of Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles now I have heard the song before in different iterations I've heard it in a mashup with Rose Happy and I've heard one of my personal favorite artists, Jacob Collier, cover it multiple times. Now, the one thing I fear is, like, what if they use one of Jacob Collier's arrangements of the song for their arrangement, and what if it sounds similar to it? Uh, the reason why I'm talking about Jacob Collier so much is because his arrangements of the song are so good. <laughs> I know I shouldn't compare, but I kind of heard like a little, just a tiny snippet of voice space version while I was trying to set up here, um, so I might have nothing to fear. Uh, but I will link the Jacob Collier covers in the description below, uh, so because I might not have anything to fear and I honestly, you know be surprised if you know, they make the song their own. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So uh, I have the video queued up right here. Uh, I have my headphones right here. So uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> let's uh, get into this. I'll be pressing play in three, two, one. Wait. Eleanor Rigby picks up the rice in the church where a wedding has been. Lives in a dream, waits at the window, wearing the face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Who is it for? In the night when there's nobody there. What? What does he care? Let me pause right here. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> you saw my face throughout the whole thing. There are a lot of things I pointed out here. Uh, I guess the first thing that I pointed out was the fact that I think Wayne was singing in the beginning. Uh, I think. I might be wrong, but then again, I. I didn't hear any drum beats or anything, so it might have been him. Uh, <laughs> and um, I know a lot has happened since I've last reacted to voice play. Uh, I uh, saw somewhere, well, not really saw somewhere. I uh, saw that uh, J Nun left the group. Uh, so this video is a little bittersweet, but yeah. But still, kudos to him and what he's doing now. Uh, also, how many solos does Jeff need? Like, <laughs> seriously, how many? <laughs> uh, and also, yes, Ellie, those runs, perfect. Okay, let's get back into this in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I love and this. Nobody this is came. Father Mackenzie wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave. Yes. No one will say. Oh, yes. Yes, Ellie. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, wow. Yes, okay. So, there was nothing for me to worry about if they, you know, decide to <laughs> use Jacob Collier's arrangement. Well, they didn't. Um, they definitely made it their own. I'm gonna check out the description here. Uh, so, the last video where I reacted to this, I was asking you guys who did the um, uh, arrangement. And I'm seeing here in the description. Uh, <clears throat> so, arrangement by Ellie Jacobson with inspiration from Rod Maurice. So, <laughs> yes, uh, great job, great arrangement. <laughs> and I feel like everyone really shined through in this one. Uh, like, well, yeah, everyone really shined through in this one, but I feel like in this one, this was definitely Ellie's moment, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> very underrated. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, <laughs> I have this little weird inside joke with myself, like, with, if you see, you know, the color of Ellie's jacket, which is like a really light blue, uh, <laughs> um, that's kind of, uh, I want to say the character image color of a character from an anime. <laughs> Uh, and frankly, the character sh shares the same name as he does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really revealing a lot about myself. Yes, I'm a weeb. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm an anime fan. Uh, yo, what is up, you guys? Editing Tori here. And allow me to explain the little inside joke that I had with myself about the color of um, Ellie's jacket in the video. Um, so yeah, let me explain. Um, the color of Ellie's jacket is the same character color of the character Ellie Ayase from the anime Love Live um, School Idol Festival. So yeah, that was it. But that's beside the point. Uh, the arrangement was fabulous. Everyone shown Jay, he did his part here. Um, and also, if, you know, if Lane did sing in the beginning, please let me know. Um, like I said, how many solos does Jeff need anyway? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, once again, you guys saw my face throughout the whole thing. I was, I was in awe, okay? I was trying to take, take it all in, you know? So, <laughs> the arrangement was very, I, I kind of like the whole, um, I guess Bach aspect of it like it made it more haunting and also like fit with like I guess the setting where they were so that was pretty cool <laughs> uh, so yeah um, I'm trying to think of what else to say but <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to take it all in right now so <laughs> yeah um, thank you guys so much uh, for watching if you want me to react to more voice play, if you want me to react to more acapella stuff, if you want me to react to stuff in general, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you, you'll see the next time I upload. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!